Hello, dear uh, participants of Fifth Global Soil Partnership. My name is Mayra Kuseinova. I am represent of Kazakhstan, Kazakh Soil Research Institute of Soil Science and Agrochemistry. The territory of Kazakhstan is situated in the center of Eurasian and has the ninth biggest territory in the world. The Kazakhstan soils differ from soils of other countries with low resistance to anthropogenic loads like degradation and desertification process. Its landscapes are diverse with a great variety of climates and forms of relief from no high mountains to desert plains. The geographical soil zones in Kazakhstan from north to south are forest steppe, steppe desert steppe and uh, des desert. The flat area occupies 86% of republic's territory. There are nearly 25 million hectares of black soils, chernosomes, 90 million hectares of chestnut soils, and 120 million hectares of calcium soils, which are severely degraded, and uh, 37 million hectares of mountain soils. This is a good potential for the improvement of organic carbon management. During the past 80 years, uh, soil fertility in Kazakhstan has decre decreased significantly in large areas. Kazakhstan Research Institute of Soil Science and Agrochemistry deals with the soil problems in Kazakhstan. To fill the database of stock, stock from 0 to 30 centimeters depth, the, res and the research materials and analytical data was accumulated by the institute researchers in the process of work uh, on the research programs. The main data resources include database soil of Kazakhstan developed by our institute and materials of large-scale soil survey from 1960 and to 2016 years. Uh, for creating our map, we are collecting uh, a database from 3,083 points, soil points and after uh, data processing and cleaning, because of most of them don't have uh, georeferences and uh, they don't have properties, uh, properties and we are cleaning. And uh, after we are using s uh, spatial, spatial, spatial modeling, using uh, additional environmental GIS layers provided by ICERIC. And uh, after, the after well, finally, we are create final map, SOC stop, zero to 30 centimeter depths. Uh, by the methods we are using random forest regression was applied for mapping of carbon stock of soil la layers 0 to 30 centimeter depth with uh, spatial resolution to uh, 1 kilometers. And uh, root mean squared error uh, is uh, 244 and R square is uh, 0 to uh, dop, uh, 65. Mm -hmm. Finally, we are create a final map, uh, sock stocks uh, to 0 to 30 centimeters. As you can see, in north part and uh, southwest, uh, southeast part is uh, most uh, uh, part which uh, uh, have uh, sock stocks, and it's uh, you can see by this map. Uh, in conclusion, the uh, de development of soil organic carbon stock map is very important for Kazakhstan as it gives the baseline estimation for soil carbon which can be used for soil monitoring and reporting. The training of in digital soil mapping was very useful for developing capacity of new generation of Kazakhstan's soil science. And different parts of Kazakhstan have been studied with different uh, level of detail. For now, desert and mountains areas are less studied and require more, much more detailed mapping. During the last 100 years, some major changes occurred in the soils of Kazakhstan. These changes were caused by climate change, aridization and anthropogenic influences. There is need for more detailed soil research and creation of a new generation of digital soil maps with attached uh, database of morphological, physical and chemical properties, especially soil organic carbon. At the end, I want to say acknowledgement and I would like to express my special of gratitude to Food and Agriculture Organization of the Na United Nations Global Soil Partnership for organizing this training and the opportunity to participate in it. And I also want to uh, thank all of the employees 
of the ice rig for useful lectures, practical exercise, and the organization of our studying in Wageningen. And special thanks for Dr. Bas Kempen for guidance in the creating a national stock of uh, our maps. And uh, thank you for attention.